What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and Apple has just released iOS 10 Beta 2 for all the device that supports um, iOS 10. So I'm just wanna, I just want to show you guys some new features and a little bit of changes from iOS 10 Beta 1 to 2. So the first thing I want to show you guys is auto lock. You know, and this is my iPhone 5S right here has Beta 1 on it. And if you go to general, if you want to go to your auto lock, it's always in general, and then you scroll down, it's right there. But in this new, in this new iOS 10 beta 2, you gotta go into settings, and then you go into display and brightness, and it's right there. No more is it. It's not in general. No more. It's just in in this and um, display and brightness. So that's the first thing. I want to show you guys that change, and let's show you guys the benchmarks. I did I did some benchmark from iOS 9.3.2 to 9 to iOS 10 beta 1 and 2. So let's go. Let's go in a, where's it at right here? Right here. So let's show you guys all the benchmarks. So this is basically iOS 9. This is iOS 10 beta 1 right here. As you can see, it's 25, 27 for the single score. And 4419 for the multi score. So if we go over here to iOS 10 beta 2, now you can see it drops way down to 2265 and 3882 from that right there. So that's beta 1 went from 25, notice that 22, and iOS 9.3.2 was 2548. I mean, so basically iOS 10 beta 2, it went down. You can see right. You can look right there in the corner. I tell you what. So that's beta one. That's beta two. You can see July fifth, and this one is June twenty fifth. iOS ten, and that's June thirtieth. So as you can see, it went down. And another thing is the home, the home, the home button. Not the home button. The home app. And in beta one that app right there now it's not even on the springboard no more now all we have is the feedback app so we have the feedback app right there that's where you're going to I guess to tell them what's wrong with iOS 10 we got that right there but the home the home app is now in settings you just gotta scroll down where's it at it's in here somewhere there it is right there so no more is it on the springboard so I guess Apple took it off the screen board. So now now we have the feedback app. And also another thing in the health app. Where is the health app at? Now we got an organ donor thing. So you could sign up to be an organ donor right through here. So that's real cool. And basically spotlight search is a little bit different. For the spotlight search. There we go general. Spotlight search has more options. You can see the difference. Alright, it says now we have two options right there. So you can see beta 2 has more more options. And also messages. The cool thing with this mess with iOS 10 messages, you could send like let's open up this one. Open up message right there. Cancel that. Now if we tap on the heart, see, it gives us all the colors in beta 1, but right here you have to tap on that color, and then it gives you the rest of the colors. And the cool thing is, you could send, you could send, um, like the heartbeat, if I want to send my heartbeat to my wife, I could do that. And I could send it. And it would send. Before, in beta 1, it wouldn't let you send to iOS 9 devices. She probably won't be able to um, to view it like she'll be able to see it like that, but I doubt if it'll be playing. But you, as you can see right there, you could basically mess with it and do all kind of stuff, or you could keep it so to save because it will automatically disappear after a while. So that's cool. I um, mean, and yeah, that's about it. That's about it, guys. That's all I found that was different was. The main thing I've, I've seen that was different that kind of threw me off a little bit was the spotlight. Well, not the spotlight, the the 
auto lock because I went to general because whenever I make my videos I like to tweak my the color I mean the brightness and I couldn't find it so I automatically just went to display and brightness because that has everything right there and there it is right there and the way the race to wake feature is still awesome I mean that's a cool feature put your phone down it should turn off but it is what it is so if I go like that and you pick it up it should wake up turn it back down it should turn off you know what I mean so that's still good so there you go guys those are the only new features I found different in um, iOS 10 beta 2 Definitely rate, com comment, and subscribe. If I find more stuff, I'll probably make another video if it's a lot of stuff. But definitely rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Snapchat. Links in the description and below. Peace. Thanks for watching.